What's up, everybody? I'm back. What you up to? How's it going? I know the light looks a little dim. My uh, daughter set up her own painting area, so I gave her my light. So I'm going to have to go and put this over here on an outlet. Dude. I got kids songs stuck in my ear. There we go. One right there. Boom. Boom. We got light, everybody. We're back in business. Okay. So, I was originally doing these orcs blue, and then I decided, you know what, Craig? That looks like dog ass, you're going to change it. And that's now what we're doing, is getting ready to change it here. Save that, boom. So, what, what I do, uh, airbrushing tends to leave the paints really thin, so I don't, I kind of glaze the colors out, I guess, is what I'm getting at. So what I'm going to do to cover it up, rather than stripping it, I'm just going to Hit it with a thin down thing of Black Legion to get that black up, to build the black back up. And then I'm going to go from there and decide my colors. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know how I'm going to end up doing these. But what I do know is I don't want to do blue anymore. I figure they got the term iron work in the title, right? So maybe we'll start with some bronzes and build our way up to like a dirty iron. And again, I leave the contrast paint super thin when I do it. That way it's just like boom, quick and easy. And while I'm waiting for that one, I just want to show this off. Guys, this orc big boss model from the G-dubs is fucking giant. He's a big chonky dude. He's a honker. You know? So I'm looking really forward to painting this guy, but I want to get a feel for the army here when I do them. And then I'm just hitting all the spots black because I don't like seeing the resin underneath. And also too, like it just kind of has to be done. Get it all even, the same color, in case I have to make some corrections. And if you don't have Black Legion, the contrast, like I said, I really like, what's that? I just finished him last night. Oh, dude, he is huge, man. He's huge. And for good reason, too. I like, I like that he's a big boy. How do you run your orcs? I've uh, been recently looking in the almanac in the old world thing. And I think I might try to run a orc, a black orc list. It's doable. How do you run your orcs and goblins though? And have you gotten any games in? Have you been playing with them? Or are you just more of a hobbyist? Oh, I believe it. I believe it. I did this ugly blue and then I decided I hated it. Orcs and Goblins have been like one of my long time armies I've done. I think I go all the way 
fifth or sixth edition with their with their army book. Really amazing army. I like them a lot. I've got Dark Elves, High Elves, Wood Elf, Beastmen, Dwarves, Bretonians, Skaven, Ogres, Chaos, Vampire Counts, Tomb Kings, Empires, and Orcs. And I have all the books. Oh, right on, right on. That's cool, man. Yeah, I mostly, I, I don't have all the books. I have, like, all the 8th edition books, all their supplements. And then I have some 6th ed books that survived from when I was a kid. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I bet that's freaking sweet. Do you have the Dogs of War book at all by any chance? I always, I always, honestly, for orcs, something about Ruglid's armored orcs always made me smile a little bit. I always thought they were kind of cool, orcs with crossbows. But unfortunately, it just never came to fruition. But there's still hope. I'm holding out hope that he comes back, my boy Ruglid. Get some well deserved treatment back in. Oh, right on. Yeah, that book is freaking sweet. I do like... I miss the Dogs of War. I hope they bring them back a little bit in some way, shape, or form. Other than just, like, mercenaries. Like, I don't have a problem with the mercenaries. But it would be cool to see, like, a Dogs of War element make its return. So how did you get in the warmer fantasy there, Peter? Once all armies are out. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That would be pretty sweet. I did like the Badlands Ogres. I think they're freaking awesome. So how did you paint your orcs? What colors did you use? Fair enough. I'm thinking about doing like a aged metal, if you will. What's up? I joined the club in my high school. 
I told you, Toaster, I'd be on. I told you, Toaster. Have you coming back? You can't get rid of me. 24 hours ain't gonna do me in. After this one, though, I don't know. Just kidding. As for getting into a giant high school club, Fred had a really old Skaven and the other had old vampires. So I started off with the Dark Elf Warband and then I continued. Right on! So have you been playing any Total War in between? Or did you get down in Age of Sigmar? What, what was your, uh... Well, what did you do in between the Old World and, uh, 8th Edition? What you up to, Toaster? Let me see. So, I want to go for like an age metal. I want that dark bronze in my life. A small break from fantasy when I came back to start my vampire accounts two months later. AOS drop. Yeah, I hear you. So when I when I was younger, I got into fantasy again. When I got, I was I went in the Marines. I went away. When I came back, I saw an old games workshop in a town nearby, and I went there, picked up some savage orcs, and then uh, then I went into the shop, got a couple games in, and I needed some more movement trays. And I think some black orcs. So I went. And uh, I bought that, and then when I came back in, I shit you not, like, the guy was like, here, let me go into the back and get some uh, trays, and uh, I went to a couple stores, so one guy had some still on the wall, and that was the original store I went to, and then the second shop I went to and I bought those trays, was like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good, and no one, no one made any mention of Age of Sigmar coming out, next day, literally two days later, I go in there, Age of Sigmar drops, it's this huge thing, and uh, I gave it a swing. I like the models, like the Bloodbound. I was like chaos, but uh, yeah, it just wasn't for me. <coughs> I played it here and there for a bit. Um, second edition came out, and I think I played that for a bit, and I quit around then. And then, like, deep dived into the Horus Heresy, like hardcore. Hmm. We got orcs and goblins. That would be a good little book. I'm trying to think here. Well, I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm gonna look up a paint scheme. So, have you uh, do you play any games at all? Have you gotten any of the old world games in? All right, here we go. Let me see here. Sometimes when I'm not too sure about what I want to do, I'll go through and I'll look at some paint schemes. I bought the AOS First Dead box and painted it up. It was fun to paint, but it didn't do it for me. Yeah, I hear you. It it's kind of how I feel about 40k sometimes. It's fun to do here and there, but it just doesn't scratch that itch of weapon skill and ballistic skill. Nah. I don't know. I feel like you just can't go wrong with iron armor, you know?
Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Well, I was like thinking like black orcs maybe. But it's like, you know what? I do a lot of colors when you paint for the heresy. It would just be nice to just get in there and just do some regular steel. And just do it that way. Do it upright. So I might just do that. Oh, my back. Then I'm gonna go into the banner guy. Let me get my little dumb handle. So I don't feel like I'm alright, let me put that shit. I'll put it in here. There it is. Boom. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good, man. Like for me I was thinking about doing them. My original orc army, um, from when I got back into it, I did as the Crimson Killers. Bitch, where the heck is the book? Here it is. So I did my original orcs this way. So I was thinking maybe, maybe I'll bring that back. And I think, yeah, you know what? F it. I'm going to do it. It was my first scheme I ever got done. Let's get it done. So, what I will do is I'm going to start with a brown. Dark umber should be the right color. Yeah, I've been looking around at how to do my orcs, like uh, how to build the army. And I was thinking, you know, with the Black Orc Chariots being a thing, like you could almost run a Black Orc army. I, I don't think it's going to be very good. But it will be really cool to see. Dogs of War. They're my favorite army just because they're so varied. Yeah, the Dogs of War are freaking cool. You know, uh, Chubby, we were talking about that. I think uh, one of the, the guys, Pete, over here was saying uh, maybe, maybe they might get around to it once they release all the armies and their mercenary units that go along with them. And I didn't think about it, but that maybe that would make sense to do. Midas the mean model. That is cool, man. You're going to have to post pictures of it in the Discord when you get it done. Big thing we're gonna pop into here. I'm a big fan of pearly krill, so I'm gonna hop into that burnt red, give it some of that crimson look.
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn into a glaze a little bit. Eh. No, I think we might be good with this. The trick is just to build it up slowly. Yeah, Pro Acryl makes some amazing paints. Honestly, I really love their bronzes. I need to run. Enjoy your show. Hey, thanks, man. Take care. Dude, honestly, freaking Avatar's a war, man. This guy crushes it. Yo, go see what's up, dude. Just getting some Iron Orcs painted by Avatar's a war. What are you working on, my man? Underworld's orcs and cleaning up these armors are still for building. Dude, I don't know what it is. But I hate building models nowadays. I hate mold lines, dude. 3D printing has like... I don't know. It's treated me special in the sense where there's no mold lines to freaking do. And uh, I just... Now I have no tolerance for them. Clean every mold line and fill every gap. I'm like, oh yeah, you have to, dude. You have to, especially if like if it's display. <coughs> There's sometimes I try, I try to get all of them, dude. But sometimes, man, I I miss one, I'm like a tactical marine or a freaking. I got all the ones off all the solar auxilia, but dude, the solar auxilia cleaning those, they freaking sucked, bro. I had this commission. For this guy's solar auxilia. And it was like all these LAS rifles. 
And bro, the the way they adjust the bayo, the bayonet, there's like this piece of flash that gets stuck on the bottom of it. Oh, it was a miserable fucking process, dude. Then I'm on uh, Dragon Slayer for Go Trek and Felix now. Dude, I got a good amount of memes in too after the 24 hour stream. Oh man, I was out last night. Out like there's no one's business. It was shameful looking. Twenty hours to clean everything up, dude. You're not wrong, man. So, such a gratuitous process cleaning up models, dude. Worth it though. Like the worst thing, Greg passing on the kitchen floor. What is it? What is a what a toaster call? He called it ugly sleeping. I ugly slept last night. Hair all stuck up on the side. Pile of drool on the. I was toast, man. It was horrible. My poor old lady had to see that. And then I was a bit late coming to stream today because my son, on the way to school, was running up the stairs, tripped and busted his chin open. He had to go get stitches. It's just been like the perfect storm of a day today. But little man's a trooper, dude. He took it like a champ. Yeah, he was a champion about it. I was like, Aaron, does it hurt? He's like, kind of a little bit really bad. And I was like, oh, I bet, dude. No blanket pillow on your chest. Yeah, he's he's a he's a hero, man. He's a freaking hero. But yeah, so he's got. They ended up just gluing it shut. I guess. I guess they can do that nowadays. Yeah, I'm proud of him, man. He didn't fuss not not too much at all. I mean, no more than like average, you know. Good kid. Then I had the babies in the car with me, right? So. I'm driving around the hospital, <laughs> and then next thing I know, my uh, my old lady and my son, they come walking out, and a freaking cop starts pulling, and he points at me, tells me to pull over, because I was going to get him, and he's like, there, we got a call that someone was driving in the parking lot over and over and over again. I was like, yeah, man, I got two kids in the car, what am I supposed to do? It was, it was funny. The doctor came out, the guy that called, he was embarrassed, it was funny. Uh, oh, man. You know, so you could have just came out here and asked me if I was going to do something crazy. I would have been nice to you about it, dude. So I thought that was funny. Kid, yeah, he didn't. They glued it shut. I was like, shit, I could have just done that, man. Super glue at home. I'm kidding. But no, yeah, no, they just ended up gluing it. They rubbed some numbing cream on it, glued it, and then called the cops on me for driving in the parking lot. It was funny though, the doctor was embarrassed as hell.
Yeah, man. That's what I did when I put my freaking hand went through that glass. I had like that huge, like, t like five inch freaking gash across my hand. I just pinched it shut and uh, super glued it and then taped it. Worked like a charm. That one probably I should have got stitches for, though. Oh, yeah, dude. I, yeah, you saw that one, right? Yeah, that was rough. It went all the way through, and I was like, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to glue it, dude. I go to the VA, they're going to chop the damn thing off, or I'm going to come back with fucking gangrene. <laughs> you know? Put me under, I wake up with no appendix, they thought I came in for an appendix removal. I just, I weighed the options, I was like, huh, do I want to go to the VA or do I want to just suck it up and fix it? I regret nothing. No, they just only glued it. I got the picture. I'll show you the picture later. It's pretty brutal. But yeah, no, the doc was like, oh, he just needs glue. He doesn't need stitches. He's good. The inside. I guess it wasn't too deep when I saw it. I thought it was his chin bone, but I guess it was just a little fat. Um, which still sucked, but at least it wasn't his chin bone. But yeah, little man's doing good, man. Went out, got a little uh, ice cream for busting his chin open, caught it a day. Told him to take take a nap. Boom, boom. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Me too. We're lucky it wasn't his teeth. If he would have smashed his adult teeth on the freaking floor. Oof. He would be missing teeth for the rest of his life. Yeah, man. So what's everyone got going on today? What are y'all doing? What, what are we up to? Any total warp? Oh, yeah, or his neck. 100%. Alright, now with this, I want to just be subtle. Lunch break, right on. Yeah, man, awesome. I appreciate it, Gosu. It's always good chilling with you. We'll have to do a call and hobby day sometime, man. Right on, dude. I will. I'll take you up on that. Call, I'll call you when you get off. I'm going to dip out, actually. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, man, make sure you let someone know when you go there, so if you don't come back, they, they know where to look. Make sure you keep your location on. Take care, Gosu. <whistles> really wanted to come through on that side red. I don't know what it is with red. It's like one of my favorite colors, I think. I'm just going to accept it at this point.
Yeah. yeah. It's probably what it is. That's actually why I joined the Marines, because they had red. Yeah, block the sunlight coming in through my little porthole over there. So normally in the future, I'm going to start these streams a little earlier, and then at night, I'm going to come on like every other day, probably like around 10, 30, 11, and then we're just going to chit chat, talk rules, talk shop about the old world, and just kind of catch up. Maybe watch some ghost crap once in a while. Someone asked me, they're like, why do you watch scary stuff? Or like the ghost stuff, it's not real or it's goofy. I used to watch it all the time. I, I'm well aware it's not real. It's just more for me. I just, I don't know. It's just something minuteness or monotonous that I can put on in the background without having to pay attention to anything. And it's like talking and I don't know. That's why I change it from the squealing ones. I can't stand hearing the squeals. But yeah, we'll have to watch some stuff, goof around. Probably go over the Total War trailer later on tonight, the Tamarcon. Everyone's beat it to death with a dead horse but me. So I gotta go beat it to death with a dead horse before the end of this one. And then tomorrow or Thursday I'll have my review out on the uh, wolf bristle brushes from Chronicle. They actually did pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, the wolf ones, as it says, like, it's not meant for like super duper detail. They have a sable set for that that I wasn't aware of. But, dude, those brushes last. I mean, look at this. This thing did like freaking 13 hours of just painting. And it's still fairly good and clean and freaking decent. It still has a good tip to it. Uh, I chew on the back of my paintbrushes sometimes. I, I don't know. I, it's a habit I guess I should break, but... They're, they're really freaking fantastic. I recommend them to people. Especially, like, for me, like, with my daughter, like, being really heavy on brushes and, like, you know, um, figuring out how to paint and stuff. It's a really forgiving brush at a really affordable price, you know? So. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. It's just, like, for me to you, it's like a thing, I guess. So, like, as long as you're not looking to do detail with it. But, again, they have some sable brush. I'll probably be checking those out and seeing how they go.
Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, they did. They really, really, really worked well, you know, which was surprising. I was kind of expecting to be like, you know, duds, you know what I mean? But they're pretty good. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. They they did really good. Like I said, for details and like getting in there with like even eyeballs, I wouldn't use those brushes for. Or like if you're trying to do any type of stippling or any any, any type of technique like that, no. But for putting base coats down, getting in there doing base details on the smaller brushes, I recommend them. Especially when you compare it to something like GW Synthetic Brushes. I'm not a big fan of those. But these seem to do okay. Now, I'm not sure. I'm going to be looking at it tonight before I finish the review up on them. I'm not sure if they're synthetic or actually sable. i got to double check. But I want to err on the side that they're synthetic. And if that's the case, they did a better job than, than GW Synthetic Brushes. For a quarter of the price. Yeah, yeah. The, well, I find the sable hair does a little bit better with details based on like how it absorbs the paint, how it puts the paint on the model. You know, you're also allowed to pull off different techniques. I think with with a sable brush versus um, uh, synthetic. All right. So onto the actual model we're painting. I just don't want to waste the red. Dude, I'm telling you, man, I'm a big Orcs and Goblins fan. I've loved them. Well, you know, I've loved them for a, a super long time. And when I saw that, like, Orcs and Goblins weren't going to be getting any new Orc Warriors, like, especially, like, I really thought they were going to redo some of them and bring out Biggins. And when they didn't, I was low-key, like, a little butthurt about it. But I try not to complain because no one wants to hear complaining, right? Um, but for me, it was like, I was like, oh, come on, they could like, done some new Orc Warriors or something. Giving us a little something to sink our teeth into. But uh, Avatars of War, they do some really fantastic orc models, man. Like, uh, I, I believe in those models to the T. They're awesome. And I think they have the plastic ones coming out soon, too. Which I'm probably going to get a couple and see how they look and how they fare. And paint them up on the channel. But I try not to shill anything that I don't use. You know, I don't know. But yeah, dude, I don't know. I mean, look at that. It's just a mean fucking black orc right there. If only black orcs had black orc biggins, am I right? And they got... Oh, dude. So now you can run black orcs on chariot, dude. And they are fucking disgusting. I was sitting there looking at it. 
Let me get that little profile up here. Black Orc Chariots have a 3-up armor save. Disgusting. And uh, you can turn one into a standard, and it counts as a standard bearer. So that's cool. 10-point upgrade for that. It can become a character mount, so you can put, take a Black Orc Boar Chariot for your Black Orc. And you get two crew, two war boars, and you get exactly what you're paying for, dude. Just some Black Orcs up on there doing nasties. And it's got, it got four wounds, strength, and toughness five. I don't know. I dig it, dude. At 130 points, which I think the regular chariot's, what, 90? But, I don't know, pretty thematic. I'm going to try running an entire Black Orc army. Because I'm able to, so I don't know. I'm not even running a wizard, just Black Orcs up the butt. And where is it? Oh. And this is another thing I love about the Avatars of War, dude. They got this freaking uh, Black Orc boss on boar and I'm going to paint the tar out of this and make black orc boar boys even though they don't exist yep yeah look how dope that guy is man that guy ain't messing around even his piggy he's got piggy armor on him yeah man all about it Badland Ogre Bulls. Hey, yo, Chubby, are you still in there? Dude, check it. I was going to show you this. Um, you were asking about Dogs of War, and this is something I kind of think why they're going to bring it back. If you think about it like this, where is it? How do I... Window capture. Here. Sorry, I won't, I won't play this for too long, but you were asking about Dogs of War. And uh, the Ogre, bat, the Badland Ogres, they have Dogs of War, like, right there. So I'm really curious to see if uh, if that's going to freaking uh, be a thing. But with that aside, I'm back. I got to clean my airbrush up. Remember all that time I put in the clean in the airbrush, dude? Now I gotta freaking do it again. After that 24 hour stream. Yeah, man. Well, I think the cool thing is, is GW's bringing out, like, the really old stuff. Well, they did. I don't know if they're still out, like, the old school Orc Biggins. So, I mean, if you're into, like, the older minis and you want to collect them, it's a pretty decent thing. Now, with that being said, sorry, guys, my mic is going to be moving. Turn off my air compressor. Boom. Now... With the orc skin, these guys are like technically, you know, going to be darker skinned. And I want to try out... I'm so unprepared. It's okay. Two seconds. I gotta re-prepare myself. New piece of parchment. My wet palette, it's pretty fantastic. It's literally a sandwich box with some sponges and paper. And my buddy actually uh, turned me on to the idea. And it works well, so I, I haven't replaced it yet. I don't know. Probably won't so I don't see a need to. But I want to try this out. So it's called a dark green. Or, yeah, dark yellow green. 
And I want to see if it's going to be any good for like a skin tone. My hope is that it's close to Castellan Green and it's a decent substitute. So, I'm going to take my brush. Take my brush and put some Castellan on my palette here. Maybe if I mix a little brown into it, it can dilute that yellow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're going to mess around with it. We're going to mess around with it here. Oh, yeah. No, it's going to need, like, some brown in that. Well, let me see. Let me see what Dark Umber does to her. This should do it. Hmm. Let me see. Let's see if I like it. Uh. In comparison to this. Mm. Okay, let's try this one. There we go. A little bit of black gave us the color. So should have figured that. To that. I don't feel like I have to say this, but we're going to be careful not to get it on the red that we just took all that time and putting on. And if you guys think I missed a part that was red, I didn't. This scheme's like a mix of red and black. So I want to leave some parts. This is the skin. <clears throat> yeah, even using those brushes again today, really awesome, man. Really good brushes. Okay, see I made that mistake there. It's okay. I'm gonna make that chipping Can you guys hear the music or is it too too quiet? Okay, good. Sorry, yeah. I had it all quiet. Yeah, so who's ready for the next 24 hour stream, huh?
<clears throat> yeah, you know what? I think I am. I think I can do one more. Probably, like, not this weekend, but maybe the weekend after next. We're going to have to prepare some awesome videos to watch, though, man. That way I can, like, watch something while we do it, you know? I'll hang out. The question is, is my camera ready for it? summertime yeah no I'm trying to cut down on the overhead I'll probably do another one in like two or three weeks this one will be chaos space marines though so I'm gonna start my goal with the chaos space marines is to start working on all the trim throughout the next couple streams and then just knock it out And I gotta find someone I can drag through it too. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I know. I think this time though, I'd probably start Friday and go into Saturday. So I could take Sunday and then recuperate. I think that's like the best way to do it. Look at that. Yeah, that green's nice. I like that. So yellow, dark green, two parts, one part black to get that green. Nice. You know what I'm going to end up doing now? I'm going to take this shit called Strack and Green and shake it up. So Strack and Green's like a little bit more creamy. And I'm just going to slowly mix it into our mix to get the highlight and build up the skin. So here's my wet palette if anyone cares. surfaces. Yeah, the green's coming out all right.
manga real quick. Went to sleep at 9 o'clock. <laughs> that sucks, dude. That sucks. You, you know what? You're my 24 hour partner there, Crypt Shadow. Gonna have you on. a little bit of this track in there.
<clears throat> Here we go. here and I switch to my little brush at this point so sometimes it's hard <clears throat> when you're painting especially when you airbrush to get sucked into like the tongue or parts that aren't painted but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clean up where my highlights went awry and kind of go back with that dark one and fill it back up in the recesses. Um, I was testing to see like if I could get detail with that brush you can. It's just I think I prefer my little one. At this point I've just used it so much. There we go. Just kind of re-darkening that process again. Just follow like along that little line under the lip right there. What I'm going to do so I stop getting sucked in. So I'm going to take that black I dripped up on my palette to make that green. I'm just going to go in there, hit the teeth and everything, and kind of darken it up for me. And while we're doing that to that color too, we're also going to go around and start hitting those bits of black armor that I want. that a chip <coughs> uh, what time is it it is 1 12 probably like another hour or two normally I'll be on at like 8 30 till 2 or 3 depending on the day but because of everything that happened I'm, I wasn't on when I wanted to be but I will be back on again tonight as well so be, oh, say two, yeah, so I'll be on for like another 48 minutes with everything going out to school and stuff. And then I'll be back on the night to kind of chill and hang out with the community and chill. All right, sounds good. I'll see you on the night.
The trick is I want to mix match the armor plating. So it looks cool, but also we're going to do some freehand on this too. This isn't just going to all be done today, it'll probably get done tomorrow. Today we're just going to start trying to get the base coats done since I, last some I lost some time. Huh, forgot his whole fucking neck. Whoops. Whoops! Gotta fix that. It's okay. No mind is elsewhere. Oh, is it still messed up for me? Still messed up there, Crypt Shadow. Okay, good. I think I heard someone else playing that game too, like some stream deck game. Oh, oh okay, cool. Any good? You're supporting it anyways, man.
one last thing I want to get. What's that iron hook? Hit that up with some light umber. All right, we're gonna finish up the banner, and then I'm gonna have to bounce. I'll be back on it around 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. By the banner, I mean like the tusks and the freaking material. What's wrong? <laughs> the, oh yeah, no, I got, I got a couple more minutes still. I still gotta finish the material in the horns. Yo, if you got anything you wanna watch later, dude, hit me up with it so we can watch it and shit on it. I was thinking about doing the Warcraft campaign, like, one through three. So I might start, like, orcs and humans today. Start off with the orcs. Get my fill of just big green brutes. I watch good things. My butt. If you're watching me right now, that's like half a lie right there. <laughs> Watch good things, my ass. You're on the Tyrant's channel. Huh. 
do bone on the skulls and then I will be on my way out my back but tomorrow I'll be on around 8 in the morning 8 30 8 30 so check little man's chin now Everybody, I'm gonna bounce off. I'll be back on the night at 10 o'clock Central Standard, 9 30 to 10 o'clock, and I will be down to chill. Maybe start Warcraft Orcs and Humans campaign, start being a ding dong. Yeah, everybody, thanks for showing up for a bit again. I'll be on again earlier tomorrow, just with everything that happened. I, uh, I wasn't able to, so everyone. Take care.